We're going to be speaking to uh, some members of the Coalition of Unposted Trained Teachers, Index Below 2018. And so in November 2019, we had them uh, picket at the Ghana Education Service demanding postings. And these are people who uh, completed in 2017 and 2018. And unfortunately, up until now, they have not been posted as trained teachers. Now, just yesterday as well, a number of them picketed at the Ghana Education Service, after which about 19 of them were picked up by the police. Now, the police said that they did not have permission to actually stage a protest yesterday at the Ghana Education Service, and that is why they were picked up. And so I have with me in the studios Emmanuel Asabre. He is the public relations officer for the Coalition of Unposted Trained Teachers, uh, Index Below 2018. And also I have Wilberforce Apia, who is the assistant PRO. So you are the PRO, you are Emmanuel yes, Asabre, and you. Okay, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. So both of you were picked up yesterday? Yes, please. Excluding me. I was oh, you weren't much. picked yeah, up. But impressed. how many of you were picked up yesterday? Nineteen. Nineteen of you. Including Why? twelve ladies. Including twelve ladies. Yes. Why? What was the reason given by the police? Apparently, they are saying that we didn't um, seek permission before coming to the premises. Therefore, mm. it's illegal. Did you seek permission? Well, we wrote to seek permission from the police, but it looks like um, things were being dragged on the feet. So. And if we are to wait till a very long time before we get the permission, GES will come out to tell us that they are done with the posting completely, so we'd have to wait and then they'll carry us forward to next year, or they are going to seek financial clearance for us at another time, which we would have to wait, and they can't give us a specific date that it's, it's coming. So by okay. the time we realize it may be like another year, or they will come back telling us the same story again. Wait, when did you send the police the letter asking for permission? Okay, so we, we sent the police the letter the second time we came to GS after that that's when we sent the, the second police. time which was yeah. what in november um okay so we we were there in november and okay. i think somewhere in early, early december. december we also went so that there was again. the second time yes please okay this and the then you time. sent them that letter yes please. and up until this monday they had not responded no at all no okay now tell me what exactly the problem is you're saying that what you completed school in 2017 no so explain it yeah so this is how things is so we, ha we have um, three group of people. People who have index numbers 2018 mm -hmm. and completed college in 2018. And people who have index numbers 2017 or 2016, but because of one or two reasons, it could be health, it could be finance, it could be deferral or referral, so mm -hmm. they couldn't complete school. However, in college, if, if, if something like that happened, you can't complete college successfully until you redeem yourself, if it's deferral or referral, until you write the referral and pass, and then join the year ahead of you to complete everything successfully. Okay. Then you are a past student. And I am part of those people. My index number is 2017, but I completed in 2018. So I redeemed myself in second year, then continued school to third year, and then completed, completed successfully. So I am part of that. And then we have 2017 people with index numbers 2017, who completed in 2017. However, when you go to school, college is supposed to um, uh, uh, confirm your certificate, that's your WASI certificate, to make sure that it's genuine. All right. Then, so after you have completed, junior year is supposed to. But when college is doing this confirmation, you are not aware. Until you complete college and postings comes out, and then you are not part, that's when you find out, and then they will tell you that, unfortunately, you are not part, so you have issue with your, with your uh, certificate. So you're you not to... involved in the process? No, not at all. They only ask us to come and register for the confirmation, but okay. as to if we were confirmed correctly or not, you will not get a test or a notification that Nothing you have all. been confirmed. Yes. So if the postings comes out and yours is not part, then you realize that there has been a problem. So you have to go back. It's either college didn't confirm you on time or mm -hmm. the confirmation was done wrongly, so you have to go back and then do things the right way. Wow. So. Um, at their time, 2017, the postings came and a few of them were not part. And okay. in fact, 2016 people are even involved. But let me just place the attention on 2017. They were not part. So they came to GS to ask why, and then they were told that unfortunately they have issues with their confirmation and that stuff. So they have to go and work it out and mm -hmm. come back. So when they come back, their portal is open. They will add them to the people that they have posted already so that they can also go to their Who was supposed work. to work on the confirmation? The students the, no, themselves? No. The, 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 GS said that they should go back and work on their confirmation. So it means that the students have to go to college and find out what the issue is, and then in, in conjunction with the college, okay. work things out and then clear uh, whatever the issue is. Okay. So GES, when the student 
uh, didn't get their posting. They actually came to GES for that information, and then they told them that they have to go and work things out and come back mm -hmm. when when they have confirmed. They should come back for their postings. Then they work and then they they went and then worked things out. They came back and GES told them that unfortunately the portal the portal for the posting has been closed. Around what time was that? That is uh, around 2017 when their 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 postings came out. One month was that. Uh, that is around December. December. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it has been closed. So they have to go. And then in the subsequent posting, they will be added to it. I Those see. people at that time, they were not writing licenses. Mm. They were not write, doing national service. And then in our time, when we completed in 2018, that's when the whole licenses and the national service thing came. Now, GES didn't say that we completed in 2017 successfully, but because we have unconfirmed issues, you should be out of the uh, national okay. service and then the licenses. They said that if only you have not been posted and you want a job from Ghana Education Service, you have to do all these things. These people did the national service. They've written their licenses. In yeah. fact, we have all our documents here, which, which says, let me clarify that this. What you, can you show me? Can you show let me, me? This is, uh, this is, what uh, document? is it okay if I put the person's identity out Oh, there? sure, sure. This okay. is this my, my president. Uh, okay, so this is provisional in provisional teaching license. Yes. And this is after you've written the licensure exam. Yes, yes, uh -huh. Okay, and, and you passed. do this before, and uh, you've passed. Yes. Okay, and this is, uh, okay, let me just show it to the camera so you can see. And this is before national service. You have to write this exam um, before? Uh, that is how it's supposed to be, but uh, during our time, we wrote the uh, licenses before we started the national the service. The national service. Yes. Okay. So this then indicates that you've gone through the process and you should be posted. Yes. And this is the certificate from national service that you have done your national service. Okay. And this is the college certificate which shows that you have completed, irrespective of your index number. If you completed in 2018, the year that you completed will show will on the shown. certificate. Okay. Here it's written 27th day of July 2018. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, so we're just showing you documents that indicates that they had gone through the process and so were eligible to be posted as trained teachers mm. in the country. And this is what? This is, is this different? This fellow completed in 2017, 2017 index number. Okay. So his graduation date was stated in October 2017. And this is what? Uh, diploma Someone, certificate? Yes, certificate? All of us are diploma certificate. Okay. But this is part of College the who of had unconfirmed issues. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is uh, his certificate. I see. Mm -hmm. And was this person able to resolve the issue? Yes, yes he has done it, any, uh, everything now. So he's clear to So when posted. were you supposed to have been posted? When was the last posting done? That that was done on November 20th. November 20th. Let me bring your assistant PRO in. November 20th. Yes. That is when the posting was done yes, and please. you were left out. Yes, please. Did they explain why? Um, when we came, what they told us was that the financial clearance that they went for from Ministry of Finance we were not captured. You were not captured? That's yes. The, they the said the financial clearance was only for those who completed. They didn't say in these numbers. They said those who completed in 2018. However, even if it's those who completed in 2018, then what about a fellow like this mm -hmm. who completed and is having a graduation dated July 2018. 2018. This shows that this person completed college in 2018. This so this person, person should have been This posted. person should have been posted okay. according to them. Hold on. I have Vincent Akose for, uh, he's the PRO for the Education Ministry. He's on the line with me. Hello, Vincent. Good morning. Good morning, Bella. How, How are you me? doing? I'm well and happy. I'm How fine, you thank you as well. Thank you so much for joining us on TV3 New Day. So quick question, is the ministry aware of the plight of these 2016-2017 batch? They are in here telling me that unfortunately the reason given to them was that there was no financial clearance um, for them and that's why they were imposed. Is the ministry aware? Um, let me say good morning to your cherished viewers. Um, yes, yesterday morning uh, on and around um, 7.30, we started seeing some people picketing around the Ghana Education Service. Okay. And so, yes, we are aware that there are some people who are not happy about the state of the recruitment as far as the 2018 College of Education engagement is concerned. And so, let me say we are aware. Okay. And if you are aware, what is the plan to recruit these teachers? Have you been able to meet them to interact or find out what the way forward is? Yes, I think last week, uh, quite a number of them came to the Ghana Education Service. And um, I remember the public relations office that the Ghana Education Service engaged them. Um, there were some staff also at the Human Resource Department who also engaged them. And we explained to them that, yes, we are willing to engage them. We are willing to give them appointment letters, but we can only do so if 
we have gotten a financial clearance from the Ministry of Finance. Of course, we don't want what happened in 2012 and 2013, 2014 to happen uh, in 2020, where appointment letters were given to people without financial clearance. What it means is that sources of funds may not be available. Okay. Um, you may not know where or how these people who have been given appointment letters will have to be paid, whereby a teacher will be teaching in a village for about three years, only for him or her to be told that there's a three-month pay policy that you are supposed to be paid. And so we don't want those things to be happening anymore. So now the Ghana Education Service will only engage you if and only if we have a financial clearance from the Ministry of Finance. All right. So now they are saying that they feel sidelined, reason being that they also completed in 2018 their licensure exams and their national service. Unfortunately, just because they are from originally the 2017 batch, all of them were not posted as against those who completed um, in 2018. Now, the financial clearance was supposed to be for everyone who completed in 2018. So whether or not you started from the previous year or not, you should have been part of it. But all these people could not be included in the 2018 batch of postings and they feel sidelined. Was that a deliberate attempt? How come they were overlooked? No, Bella, 2018 was a very special case. Hmm. It was a special case because that was the year that we started the implementation of the Education Act of 2018, hmm. which says that a teacher is supposed to be professionalized. A teacher is supposed to be given a license. Hmm. That is one. And two, a teacher is also supposed to have finished his or her national service. And so when we engage the leadership of the uh, TAG, that is the Teacher Association of Ghana, that is their leadership, yeah. when we engage them, we promise them that irrespective of their doubts, we are going to engage them right after their national service. So if you have your teacher licensure examination requirement, that is if you have passed, and if you have also completed your national service, mm -hmm. then as of right, we are supposed to engage you. And so that was what we told them, or that was the promise that we gave them when we engaged them in 2018, especially when they had doubt that it was a strategy not to engage them and uh, what have you. And so it was a special case, and we had sought for the financial clearance from the Ministry of Finance. However, it is not only in 2018 that okay. we have engaged teacher trainees. In 2017, we engaged about 14,700 um, teacher trainees across the country. Mm -hmm. We also opened for limited recruitment where we engaged about 23,000. So in 2017 alone, we have to engage about 23,000 teachers across the country. Now in 2018, though we didn't engage specifically mm -hmm. College of Education teachers, but we engage um, double track teachers where we open up for limited recruitment and we did them for 2019 and also open for limited uh, recruitment. So okay. from 2017 to 2019 alone, the numbers suggest that this government has been able to recruit about 66,000 teachers across the country. Okay, okay. Um, so what timelines are we working with? How long is it going to take to get the financial clearance? Because these people have been home for uh, a number of years. And we all understand what unemployment does to our youth. What are the timelines? Should they look forward to that as well? Well, Bella, I'm only able to hold to you for the Ministry of Finance. Um, mm. I speak for the Ministry of Education. I'm hoping okay. that after when the financial clearance is ready, we'll be able to also do what is right to engage the teachers. No problem. Thank you so much, Vincent, for speaking to us. Vincent Akwasifwa is the Most PRO welcome, for the Education Ministry. And in the studios, again, I still have the PRO for Coalition of Unposted Trained Teachers and the Assistant PRO, Emmanuel As. Sabre and Wilberforce appear respectively and we're just talking about this but of course he's saying that he cannot hold brief for the Ministry of Finance what I want to know with all the times that you picketed at the GES and the times when you're trying to get the attention of the Ministry of Education did the minister speak and what did he tell you okay okay but but before we come mm. to that Bella you see he couldn't answer why you have completed in 2018 with so we should have asked whether the uh, financial clearance of, was for people who have index numbers 2018 alone. Well, but he, he explained that it was a special year where they had just introduced the act, and so hmm. that's why there were a few challenges here and there. But then again, they are still going to work on it. But he didn't give the timeline because... If because he, he says he can't speak for the Ministry of Finance. So it means that eventually things will be dragged on their feet, and by the time we realize, they will say that we have to join the, the years ahead of us. Well, let's not conclude immediately because we'll have to hear from the Ministry of Finance as well when they are going to give the clearance, then we can make any conclusions. But back to my question, was the minister ever able to speak on your issue? 
the minister, we met the minister on one on one. Affair. We, okay. It was a standing, um, like a standing meeting. When you say standing meeting, as an impromptu. We met him. We met him outside because when we when we got there, that was on twentieth, uh, twentieth around twenty seventh November. 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 Twenty nineteen. When we got there, the fact of the matter was that most of the big weeks at the office there were not trying to talk to us. Why? So we don't. That one we can't explain. But you we had informed them that you were coming. We actually our first coming. The wedding it was informed. unannounced. Okay. 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 They were they were informed because what happened was that when the posting came, we actually rushed to our district office to know why we were not posted. Mm. And the district made it clear to us that this year's posting was done straight from national. So if we have any issue, we have to go to national. Okay. So that's so why you went there. That's that's why we came to Accra in our numbers. Mm. So <clears throat> we tried to speak to people we we talk can give us some um how do you call it? An, an explanation mm -hmm. to ask why those things are happening. And they've been trying to um, um, dodge us. Okay. We went to um, the HRM department and what we were told was that um, we should go to the villages and gather young kids and start teaching them. Who said this to you? Um, that is from one person who works at the HRMD of Ghana Education Services. We don't really know the name. They said you can just go and gather kids. Yes, and you teach can on gather your own. kids and teach them on your own. Yes. yes, I don't know whether it was a joke the person was saying okay. or was a serious issue, but by that time we didn't take it as a joke because we came there with serious, serious business. You don't have the name of this person who actually said this. We don't. They will not okay. carry their name since but, they know. But you said you also met the minister in yes. Yes. yes, and he addressed the issue. But the minister, he made it point blank to us that day that. The issues that we are going through is not going to be the last because the 2018 batch, over 1,000 of them will not be posted. He made it clear he to said us. They will not be. They posted. will not be posted. Did and he, he warned us that day that if he catch anyone recording, he will smash the person's phone on the ground. The minister Even, said this. Yes, to you. he said it. I was I was an eyewitness. I was just standing next to him. Okay. And he said this. So. So mm -hmm. we went ahead to explain to him that when we came, they told us that. We should go and look for another work. They said you should find another yes. job. Okay. Yes, we should go and look for another work. Who said so this? it was also said at the GES HRM department. And with all this, because they know that these things will be coming on air, they refuse to give us their names. Mm. So we tried to confront him on what the person said. The response he gave us is, he is not an educationist. Who said this? The minister the, the of minister, education? The minister himself okay. spoke to us. Right. He is not an educationist, but he is a minister of education. He's a dentist, but has become minister. He's a dentist, but, but has, has become, become a minister. minister. And so, so, simply put, uh -huh. what he's trying to tell us is that, despite the fact that our certificate, our diploma in okay. education, okay. we can divert our course and go and do another thing aside this certificate. Okay. Meanwhile, this certificate, as you are seeing here, cannot help us in any other field. Well, well, I'd like to issue a disclaimer, by the way, especially because we don't have any facts to back, um, you know, their statement saying that that is exactly what the minister said. And so just so you don't misconstrue, this is what they experienced and they're narrating uh, the experience to us on TV. You were saying, go ahead. So you see this certificate? This certificate can just take us anywhere apart from the classroom. Because if you look at it, even if um, recruitment for... Um, Ghana Armed Forces, uh, any other work camps, they didn't state diploma of, in education. So they didn't this state is only for the classroom. For, for the classroom. So when they are telling us that we can, uh, um, we should go and look for another work with this diploma certificate, we, we can't understand. Have but you then, considered trying to study something else? Especially looking no, at the difficulties no. okay, that so you're well, no. The issue is that uh, our parents have already pumped enough money into taking us through this whole thing. Are we okay. to go and tell them that because we are not working now, are we to go and tell them that this is what we had? So they should start, they should dive, help us divert this whole thing to a different profession and they should start um, um, paying another money again what about, us, what about the private institutions? Have you yourself also tried to find jobs, at least in the meantime, whilst we fight this course? Bella, have you so, approached any private institutions? Bella, so I have, I, I taught after SHS before going to uh, training college, and I can tell you that no training college will pay above, let's say, 600 cities a month. Okay. And sometimes some people will take um, 150 cities a month. 
Okay. And you've employed someone into the government sector who holds the same qualification as us, is being paid ab above 1,000 Ghana cities. But currently you are home. Yes, so we are. So which is better, being unemployed, not earning anything at all, or at least in the interim, finding a job that will pay you something whilst you fight? Okay, so what it means is right that if, if, if that is the situation, then it means that permanently we should forget about the whole thing. I'm not saying forget, I'm just saying. No, because you're no, not earning no, anything now. How are you surviving? So that's the question that that's you should ask. That's what I'm asking ask. that at yeah. least if the private institutions are offering some amounts, why are you not taking that offer and it's not as if whilst that the, you it's, fix the problem? Okay, so it's not as if the private institutions, jobs are ready when you go there, yeah. then they'll, they'll just pick you because you have, you have tried to find some? Of course we have tried. I mean, Kumasi, I've tried. And you've been lucky to get some? No, because all that they will tell you is that um, probably the time that you came wasn't the right time that they are, they are looking for teachers or you have to go, you you get a call from them. But what will you do if you're not getting anything from them? Okay. All Please, right. with the private institution, I want to state clear one experience that I went to personally. Uh, as at last year, because I completed my college and I wasn't posted, I would be in the house for one year. I decided to look for a private institution and teach. So I sent an application to uh, one private school in Adenta, EP Preparatory. The headmaster told me emphatically clear that she had never heard that teacher trainees complete college of education and were not posted, so I'm a liar. Even though I had, not by then I wasn't having my college certificate, but I had any other, other certificate to show to him that I was yeah. actually a, um, a, a trained teacher. teacher. This, I was an SRC executive as well in college. Okay. And um, I hold different executive positions in college as well. Okay. So I showed all this document to the man, to, to the lady, just to show to her that I am from a trained, a, a training but you didn't have your final certificate. But I didn't have my final certificate. So but then you she can't said blame she not understand. Her. She doesn't believe. She doesn't that. believe that that is happening. Okay. So she can't employ me. Okay. Okay. This is tough, honestly, I must say. And um, well, you have been released. Obviously, reason why you are on TV now. Yesterday you were picked up. What What is the the arrangement? Okay. So yesterday, before I come to the arrangement, yesterday the police actually beat some of our members. They started randomly picking you up. They see that you are around the ministry. Uh, some of them have their uniform torn. And in all, 19 people were arrested, including 12 okay. women. Some of them having uh, been uh, nursing mothers. Mm. And then in the evening, um, thanks to Nats mm -hmm. and some benevolent people, they came into our aid and then they released us. Okay. And they were, we were told that tomorrow we are to appear in court. In court to answer for, as to why you didn't... Why we came to the GES and to okay. probably uh, distract peace or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, well we all do know that there's a law that says that you need permission before you embark on any protest in the country. And I hope that moving forward, if you intend to do so, at least let's adhere to the rules. But we're hoping that um, you know we can find a, a solution to this problem. Unfortunately, this is all time will allow me. But thank you so much for joining thank me. On the show, I've been speaking to Emmanuel Asabri. He is the PRO, and Wilbur Force appears as assistant PRO. They are from the Coalition of Unposted Trained Teachers Index below 2018.